beginning, I'd like to consider this powerful idea which contains the secret to eternal happiness, healing, being, and great experience. The divine being, by its very nature, has ordained that we all live, move, and have our being in one undivided pure spirit, which is infinite person flowing through innumerable personalities, you, me, and all. The universal power is surrendered to us only in terms of its own nature, and healing comes through a reversal of thought and act through bringing everything in man's life under dominion of the universal will and purpose which must be truth, beauty, love, law and order and fruitful and happy self-expression. For that which God is, we are. Any man can so attune himself to good that his words become an instrument of its divine operation. It is then that he is thinking God's thoughts after him that is. So through these words we understand that there is not only a law of the creative power of thought in the universe, there is an essential, wondrous, harmonious, and life-sustaining essence moving as divine substance with divine characteristics and divine personality expressing in and through all in through and as us when we attune to this perfect idea recognizing what we are and how our true nature really wants to express itself by means of us it is then that we drop all acts and feelings of anything separate, thereby reversing those unpleasant effects in our lives by attuning to the divine within us, all is rectified. It is in recognizing these attributes and qualities which we see reflected throughout nature and this entire magnificent universal system we are aware of from the perfection of the heavens stretching to the furthest galaxy and on into infinitude, that the light of truth dawns within. And we begin to conceive of the powerful truth of our being. That yes, we are a part of a great and divine tapestry, a shining path of the most magnificent crystal or mandala of being. That the stuff we are made of is yes, divine, good and very good, perfect in every aspect, containing all of God. We flow on the current of God life and being. Our awareness of eternal life is resurrected. And we are free at last from the illusion of death and the jaws of destructibility and mortality. We recognize that we are one with that which is eternal and sublime, and we no longer pay homage to the physical and to limitations or lacks we say no to that which denies our essence and all, and we stretch forth, breathing the breath of infinite fortitude and capacity, claiming all that is thine is mine, moving forward into the new day and ever-increasing light of eternal possibilities and potentialities of good and greater good, we can say, as the Christ, the Buddha, and all of enlightened beings, I have overcome 
the things of the world. I and the Father are one. I place my faith at the feet of the divine. I am humble only to that which I am, and the world of appearances is at my feet. So our only business on this planet is tuning our thought radio to that refined station, tuning in more and more all of thought to the divine vibration of being. And as we surrender our every erroneous thought and belief, to the greatness and wonder of being. All good is released to us under grace and in the atmosphere of love. So let us go within them to rest at the feet of the sublime and let us clothe ourselves in the light within feeling its great canopy and presence, and say within, I am thine and thou art mine. I would not forsake nor deny thee for any appearance in my world. Yet I surrender all to thee now and thou dost grace me with liberation, with light, and with loving fulfillment of all. My consciousness is illumined in the eternal awareness of good and only good. I have overcome the world, and thou dost find great expression by means of me. I give thanks in all for my perfect good now and for the sublime healing grace of my life. And so it is.